Here's an example of learning the hard way of the pitfalls of using flight plan for your Parrot Bebop or Bebop 2 drone. I pre-programmed the flight plan telling it to record video, fly out to a lake, fly across it at 10 meters altitude, then turn due south from the lake over some woods, climbing to 80 meters to keep over the trees, do a nice 360 degree panning shot, then fly out due east again, or due west I think, um, over an abbey, turn back and come home. The first schoolboy error I made was in programming flight plan at the camera angle, I told it to look down 10 degrees, so it wasn't just looking at sky. As it turns out, as you'll see from this part of the video, I should have had it looking down about 15 or 20 degrees. There's so much sky, it's blacked out the ground. You can really not see a lot of detail. But as it gets over these pools in the middle of the forest, I told it to dip the camera down to 25 degrees and do a nice slow 360 degree pan. Everything's going fine to this point. But shortly after I saw on the iPhone screen that it was spinning on its axis exactly where it was supposed to be, it then heads out due east and at this point I can see it's heading towards the last waypoint I'd programmed and it lost Wi-Fi signal. I'd estimated that the trees were about 30 metres in height. It's now dropping down to 40 metres, which was the height I'd told it for the last waypoint. Oops. As you can see, that tree is 41 metres. So unfortunately, I've got a bebop crashing into the top of the trees 40 metres above the ground. About 600 metres as the crow flies, about one kilometre walk away. Amazingly, at the end of the one kilometre walk, I found that the bebop had landed on the ground and was intact. Future lessons, make sure I overestimate the height of trees. Thanks for watching. Please click like if you enjoyed this.